What is going on, everybody? It is NY Mets Network, and today we're going to be talking about if the New York Mets should consider trading second baseman and outfielder Jeff McNeil. So it's pretty clear that Jeff McNeil had a really down 2021 season compared to his 2019 and 2020 season. In 2019, he had a 318 batting average, an on base percentage of 384, and a slugging percentage of 531. In 2020, he had a 311 batting average, 383 on base percentage, and a slugging percentage of 454. And that being compared to his 2021 stats, his slash line, he had a 251 average, a base percentage of 319, and a slug percentage of 360. So clearly he struggled a lot this year. And if I'm being honest, I feel like he went straight downhill after the whole Lindor and uh, Jeff McNeil incident at second base. Um, and I feel like Lindor kind of put a lot of pressure on McNeil. I'm not blaming. I don't, we don't know the whole situation. But what I'm trying to say is I feel like ever since that happened, McNeil just went straight downhill he wasn't in the same self he wasn't hitting you know anywhere near 290 you know he was just struggling and uh taking that into consideration he's still better than the other options the Mets have to offer to trade so players like Dom Smith is pretty much positionless right now because first of all we don't know if the DH is coming into play and if the DH is coming into play will Robinson Cano be the DH and you know Dom Smith will played left field on first base but Peter Lons playing first, and left field is either going to be you know, Nimmo or Mark Hanna. So, kind of seems like Donald Smith is out of place. And I don't know. I he, you know, if he gets traded, he just doesn't have as much trade value as Jeff McNeil. Another person who could be traded is JD Davis, and JD Davis just had a really pretty bad, uh, pretty bad 2021 season. Um, he just he didn't get a lot of playing time, and I don't know if that's one of the reasons, but. I just remember that Dodgers series where he just took took strike three down the plate. He couldn't hit a fastball, and I don't know. I should could you package JD Davis and Dom Smith for maybe a pitcher or a prospect? I I really don't know, but it seems like Jeff McNeil is the most trade value. But in my personal opinion, I just wouldn't really trade him because Jeff McNeil could be our starting second baseman. This is if we don't get Chris Bryant, which in my personal opinion, I'd rather call a Brett Beatty than get Chris Bryant. But that's for that's for a completely different video. Um, I can still see Jeff McNeil being a valuable second baseman. There's obviously still things, there are probably still things between McNeil and Lindor, but if they can figure that out, I, I, I really think McNeil can have a bounce back season, especially after looking at his 2019 and 2020 seasons. He just had a, a down 2021, and I truly think that he could bounce back. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I, I personally don't believe that we should be trading Jeff McNeil even though he does have the most trade value I think the Mets could still go after maybe Carlos Rodon or someone else another free agent uh for a number three starting pitcher after DeGra having DeGrom and Scherzer we'll see what happens um the lockout is currently still on as I am recording this video so let me know what you guys think down below and make sure to like comment subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one I thought it was actually a possum so uh you know not not a not a raccoon a uh, possum